This episode of Nerds New Sexy Entertainment Podcast is brought to you by Magic Mind. What is up all you sexy nerds? Grizzly McBee here, and you are listening to and watching Nerd is the New Sexy Entertainment, the podcast, episode number 172. Today, I'm joined by the man, the myth, the legend, the backwards hat and all, Mr. Wildfire One. Hello, everybody. I am indeed wearing my hat backwards, and now I feel like I'm being shamed for it. And we are joined by the man himself. The the fingers behind the keyboard, our technical support agent, Mr. Shattered Blade. Hello there, everybody. At least he's not the, the fingers behind the butthole. No, hey, hey, that's yet. after hours, okay? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, make that that's tip somehow, right? Just the tip. <laughs> so, um, today's episode, today's episode is going to be about Pal World. We we briefly discussed it. I want to say what two episodes ago, yeah, uh, where we talked about how fandom maniacs and Grizzly McBee can't stand how I name my pals. I might be paraphrasing. I, I think Grizzly likes it. I think fandom doesn't. So, she doesn't. I so, think it's we're yeah, we're here to talk about Pal World and and our experiences with it. Uh, and to be honest with you, I'll start off right now. Like, the game is so much more than I thought it would be. Yeah, I I had played it and um, and when I started playing it, I, it's still in beta, right? It's still in like early access. Yeah, yeah, but I I had expected there to be like next to nothing to do. Like some of these games start off with. And there's everything. Yeah, there's a shit ton. To, there was more in this game that I thought that, that, that I couldn't do, that I could do, that than I thought. You know what I mean? Like, I wasn't aware that there were dungeons that randomly spawned until I played with yeah. Grizz. Yeah. And they're everywhere. Mm-hmm. So, for those of you that don't know what Power World is, it's, uh, it's kind of like a mashup... Um, between three particular games, and I think you two will, will agree with me. I want to be the very best. Mash up between no Pokemon one ever was. Ark and Zelda. Yes, yes, hundred percent. I agree. I can see Zelda as far as like the dungeons go. Well, no, that I mean, you the first start out, you start out like oh, no, walking no, no, out. Talk about like the the and, newer Zelda, like Breath of the Wild. Yeah, Breath of the Wild. Yeah. Yeah. What Zelda has transitioned to. Yeah, when you said Zelda, my brain went to like the old N64 Zelda. Which is what you've been playing, so yeah. that makes sense. <laughs> uh, but no, no, what Zelda's transitioned to, the Breath of the Wild and the Tears of the Kingdom. and uh, Which is, I'm assuming, what N- Nintendo's going to be doing from here on out with Zelda. But anyway, uh, yes, I, I see a lot of Zelda in PAL World. Because the first thing you do is you get up, you walk out, there's a fucking cliff there. You're, you're woken up by little creatures right above you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Which they're adorable, by the way, and they're looking at you. They're not even, like, trying to attack you. They're just, they're just looking at you. They're curious. One's checking out your junk. They're trying to see, they're trying to see if they can eat for you. Um, yeah. Of course, some of those are edible. You can eat them. Yep. They make for good food. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah. So, you know, it's it's it is basically, and I think I think Nintendo had even gone out of its way to like threaten to sue or actually sue. I'm they, not sure of the story. They attempted, but as far as I could tell, the case got thrown out because it was too different compared to Pokemon. Yeah, I mean, let's be honest. There are a lot of similarities, like a lot. Yeah, like having to throw the the orbs, the pal that, orbs, but... the pal balls. But, but it's, it's and you're catching them and but I, I like the I do like this though this is a big change you don't enslave your Pokemon in Pokemon they don't get the cut shit they don't use their whatever for the in the game and I bet you Nintendo was pissed about that I bet you Nintendo was like why didn't we think of that exactly why didn't yeah. we think of that why because that's a per that's the perfect thing to implement with this and so someone more or less took Pokemon and made it better in my yeah. Opinion. And a little bit more uh, ghetto, I guess, as far as like the blap blap guns and and uh, 
and 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 some of the characters you're after and and I I do like this though. You can you can also catch people. Yeah, well, if you look at the description, it says you're not really supposed to because it's severely frowned upon. Oh, oh wow. too bad. <laughs> then, it, then it shouldn't have been an option. Slave one exists. <laughs> so does slave two, three, four, five, <laughs> and six. Grizz, we'll start with you. What's one of your favorite aspects of this game? The the open world aspect of it. Oh, the, the fact that you yeah. Can go and there, there's not really much of a storyline right now that you have to follow. You're pretty much making your own story, doing your own thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, there's no timelines on when you have to do this, when you have to do that. You can go at your own pace and just have fun with it. You can build whatever you want. You can go and explore. I mean, there's there's certain things like uh, the different armor sets that you need for different areas of the map that we haven't even got to yet. We've Hot and been, cold, and yeah. We've just been building our our base like we do in every survival game we've ever played. Yeah, well, that that's we have a before I, we I, ever get to anything else. I don't know if you guys noticed this, but in the survival games, we have a step process. And it's find a place to build a base. Next to water. Next. Easy food. Base. Easy, easily defendable. Then it's the story mode. <laughs> then, then, <laughs> then it's then it's months play build, building the base just the way we want to and building all the upgrades and all the stuff we want. And then, and then we recon. And play in the game. <laughs> and, then, and then we recon in two days of gameplay and we beat the game. Yeah. Yeah, that, that that's literally the forest in a nutshell for us. Yeah. <laughs> forest, sons of the forest. Conan, Conan Exiles. Though yeah. we never did get to go go through the story in Conan Exiles, we kind of we're gonna yeah, do this. Really, and... There wasn't really much of a story. True. <laughs> Until they, you know, decided to update all the servers yeah. and take it off of beta and wipe everything. And then kill everything we did. And we had probably. 100 plus hours into that game yeah we got really addicted to that game for a bit we played it what every day for like two months yep shattered blade what's your what what's some of the aspects of this game that you enjoy um one of my favorite aspects would be the to basically make a automatic factory using pals i do like uh, that each each pal has their own uh you know some of the things that they they do best. You know some better than others. Um, but being able to uh, either if you want to do it, you know peacefully or, or like you know an absolute madman, you can run a factory straight into the ground, not care about their you know safety. The thing that I like to do, I like to get the pals that'll like automatically cut wood, automatically <laughs> like water and and pick plant and plant the the food that way you automatically have food for your pals it's no fucking big deal you don't it's not a problem you're not going out of your way to do this shit so yeah you're right it's almost like an automated process and that's you can make it that way. of course you got to start off doing it yourself but yeah that's that's half the fun you you upgrade and you uh you believe to achieve you get further and you you the make it easier up. you level up again i did i had no idea that there were dungeons for a while i had no idea that there was i played it and i i had gotten to a certain point and i before knowing that i actually got bored of it um i played i don't know maybe three days and I, it just it, it felt a lot like all the other like conan exiles level up unlock this get it done and then and that's what i was focused on that was my problem i had no idea that there was anything outside of that scope after playing with Grizz, I want to say maybe like the time before last we played, we started yeah. doing the dungeons, and uh, I started I started falling in love with the game all over again because dungeons and the egg collection. Grizz was collecting all these eggs and then like incubating them, and then like taking them for himself because I forgot about them and I'm okay with that. But then he goes wild. Wow, Take the, take the last three eggs and incubate them, and they're yours. And I'm they like, were all ones that I wanted that <laughs> we hadn't even seen in the wild yet. Yeah. Have you, have so you guys tried mad. breeding them? No, not yet. Um, we can eat the eggs? So Breed, not 
Oh, breed. Okay, I was, I was excited. I'm hungry. <laughs> I am. To be able to breed, we have to build another base because uh, we have too much shit in our base already. That's true. Well, um, I think at like level twelve of uh, base, you can build have a second one, second mm. mailbox. Yeah. Yeah, we just haven't gotten that far yet. We've just been building on our first. One. Which, by the way, I'm kind of proud of our little home. It's on that little cliff. Next yep. to the the spawn point, we're around everything we need. Our first base, I think, is a good one. We, I think, you can demolish the base and just rebuild it too if you wanted to, right? Yeah, that's pretty cool. Does the pal stay in your box? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That makes me happy. I don't <laughs> want to lose my little buddies. Yeah, the, so the pal box is like the PC. Mm. Yeah, you got so many tabs. It's like uh, it's like a Pokemon. Yeah, and but, see. That's why that's why Nintendo's mad is we're calling them Pokemon because even I do it. We'll see. I call them, I call them Palmon. <laughs> so, so do I. Palmon. Uh, one of the major differences is you can sell the pals that you don't want. Yes, yes. which is awesome. The server that that Wild and I are on together, I have it set up to where certain pals all they do is collect pal shards. And then I have other mods that all they do is when I click the crap pal ball, that's all they do. So while I can go on an adventure for an hour and come back and have 200 pal balls made, and then we just go on a catching frenzy, and then we Still. and I'll I'll teleport over to a little settlement and go into the merchant and just sell all the shit that we don't need. Here we, we, we are here to sell you our slaves. Nah, they won't take the slaves. I've tried that. Oh, the, oh, they won't, they won't buy me like human you, pals. You have to, no. you have to go to the uh, black market traders. I didn't oh, know that. I didn't know those exist. Chill now, you do. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. Oh, we're selling people. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, we're no no fucks given. We're just Take any that as you will, Diddy. We ain't getting caught. It's in the game. Pal world. It's in the game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, so um, how far have you gotten, uh, Blade? Uh, well, I've gotten to level fifty. I've captured all but two mons. Okay. I've, I've, I've pretty much done it all. And you've played it probably since it started, huh? This, this oh, yeah, out. no, I, when it first came out, I was like, you know, I probably should have, oh, wait, it's in my card already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's about how it was, well, no, actually, Grizz got it for me. I was going to say, I was, how, it's not how it was for me. For me, it was like, I can't afford it, and Grizz is like, you can now, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> So he's like, check your fucking Steam account. And I'm like, oh, well, thank you. See, and un unlike Wild, I send him games that he'll play continuously, not once and then uninstall. Oh, yeah. Well, those are scary games. I, I don't blame you for that. Um, I did I did talk him into getting what? Hell, hell, no, Fear Therapy. Yeah. I <laughs> talked you into getting Fear Therapy, and he played it once, no, which I don't blame him. Into it, oh, no, Jade bought uh, it for you. Devour is what? Mac he played Devour twice. Once at my house, and then, and then once when he gifted it to me. And then, and then that was it. Devour is scary though. That that sometimes happens with Grizz when when we get him games. He's just like especially because we get him these scary games to because his reactions are just gold when it comes to you know when it comes to scary things. Much like where's the door? Where's the door? <laughs> Like, dude, you, you gotta admit, that scared the absolute shit out of me. And even when you were, were editing that video, you're like, yeah, I would have done the same thing. <laughs> it was funny as hell. It, but that, that, you know, that's when, that's when phasmophobia was new and still kind of, like, white knuckle. It was not, it, it I don't know, there's just, there's so many games oh, like yeah. Faz that, that you, you'll play and it starts off really horrifying and then you just get used to it. First time I played Phasmophobia with you, Wild, it the the ghost like spawned in the room, but for a second I screamed high octave. Yeah, that it's <laughs> it's 
I remember I remember that gameplay because I scared fandom. <laughs> I got really close to my mic and I went <sighs> and she fucking sh- about shatter pants. It was great. Um oh, you, you got me too when we were playing uh, Demonologist. <laughs> <laughs> Demonologist was out to get you though. That game was what always out it? to get you. Every map we've been to if I survive it's by chance. There was a ninety nine percent of the maps I go into, I'm the only one targeted and the first one killed. I wanna I wanna save the stories for, for demonologists for, for the podcast, but I gotta say this one. The first time you me and J Mac played together, um he he realized that the case number for the for the uh for the actual ghost hunt, because each one has a case number. For demonologist, it was his birthday. It was his birthday. As soon as I walked into the facility, I died. <laughs> Her name was Olive. He's like, oh, I like that name. That's a really good name. <laughs> as soon as he walks in, it just fucking murks him. He just like, fuck this guy. There was like no signs, no warnings, no nothing. And then I I walk like ten feet in front of them. They stop to look at something, and next thing I know, I'm dead. And they're going. What just happened? Where's Chris? Oh, there's his body. Apparently, apparently, just didn't like their name. But you know that honestly, that's I think that's something that like Powell could could make some uh, additions to, like some scary parts, like yeah. a, like a Pal graveyard, you know, kind of like kind of like in might, Pal- Pokemon around Halloween. Oh, that'd be cool. Uh, but like you know, like like Pokemon had that that Pokemon graveyard. Yeah. How pissed would Nintendo be if they did like a Pal World graveyard kind of thing? <laughs> and it has this like a really off version of that song that dee, 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 dee. Yeah, but they, they, they that they would, would be major by. infringement right there. They, <laughs> yeah, they, they would get by. Yeah, they would get by with a graveyard of sorts, but yeah. not creepy not a tower or the similar music similar yeah. music it would be it would probably be just like an open graveyard a sound alike would probably get them yeah the, the nintendo would be like enough's enough you know what helped me get through a pokemon graveyard what a mental performance shot and we happen to know of one magic mind the one and only so just here here's a good story for you guys this time of year is graduation for for colleges and high schools and all this stuff recently we had our graduation which i had to attend and work and they're usually stressful and and there's a lot to do and by the end of the day i'm in pain and and whatnot Uh, there are a few things are a little different this year however this year i also had magic mind i took a shot before work and of course you know for something like that you're always kind of dragging your feet why why do i need to do this what are your ears fucking suck? I, I need to call in. Yeah, I, I, I wish I wish it wasn't at work. But this year I took it and it was almost like I was on top of everything. I felt good. I I could make my decisions quick and s- snap and in a hurry. And uh, it, went, it went by really easy. That That's a good example of how Magic Mind made that day better for me. I wasn't stressing as much. I wasn't frustrated. I was uh, cool-headed and calm mind. And... You know, learning a, a lot of new things about the product that we, we didn't know before. All of their their mushrooms that are used in Magic Mind are all grown here in California. That I had no idea. I they're had all, no idea. They're, they're all, all organically grown. Wow. Organically so. and locally. Well, locally for us. Yeah, locally well, for us. Well, <laughs> not like overseas. Yeah. Oh, you mean like they're not they're not getting them from China or someplace like that? In China or you know somewhere overseas, it's grown locally in the USA. It's got a hundred percent of your daily vitamin C and D per shot. I believe there's no sugar, as well. And, and, yeah, and there's no sugar. Yeah. For, so for someone who like myself is diabetic, it it works out really well. You have an, a limited time offer that you can use now to get up to forty eight percent off your first subscription or 20% off a one-time purchase at magicmind.com slash nerd is when you use the code nerd is 20. 
That's N E R D I S two zero. But you have to use it at checkout. That's at magicmind.com slash nerd is. So definitely go check that out, guys. I could definitely use some Magic Mind while we're playing Pal World. Yeah. Oh yeah. Keeps you keeps you going, keeps you keeps you focused and ready yeah. and relaxed. Uh what's one of you guys' favorite Pal World uh, pals, uh, Pal, monsters, Palmons, <laughs> Pokemon, Many Poke, whatever they are. What what's your favorite like thing you've come across so far? My number one favorite would probably be the Kitsune, uh, which is a fire mon, uh, but its body has blue flames. It passes those very interesting. As long as you're riding the Kitsune, um, you will not overheat. You will not get frozen. Oh, that's cool. For for starting out where we're at now in Pound World, I have to say um, Fox. Which one? Fire Crotch. Fire crouch, okay, so the fox. Yeah. Yeah, that the tur- that turns in that turns into a flamethrower. Flamethrower, yeah. which yeah, fox sparks. Yeah. That's the official name. I just call him Fire Crotch. <laughs> yeah. My name mine's name is Foxy. Foxy. Foxy Fire Crotch. <laughs> and then you got uh, the penguin or as people in Pokemon call Piplup. Yep. <laughs> who shoots a rocket launcher. No, no, they don't shoot the rocket launcher. They are for the rocket launcher. Oh, it's just really? like, yeah, that's hilarious. Yeah, yeah, so their, their pal ability, if you uh, get the pal gear and use it, you load them into the rocket launcher. They're, they are the rocket. Okay, that's badass. Which, by the way, I named I that, that I named that pal Make Me Squirt. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, so. I have, I, I, I'm... Still, I still got a billion different names for different pals that I'm going to find. Like Flying Pusay, which is the bat cat yeah. creature that Grizz talked about. Um, but, you know, it's just, sometimes you just, just got a name. They, they gave us the option to name them, okay? And they also took away the option to, to put in, like, really nasty names. Yeah, so oh, what kind of names do you give your pals? Uh, I don't name mine. Really? You just, you just, they're all just the same shit? Yeah. Okay. Okay. It's got a thousand box bucks and. No, so there's. There's an item called a pal condenser. And basically, you have, you select the one that has, you know, probably like the best uh, passives, best stats, and you can use other ones uh to compress and basically bolster the one you selected um like the first star that you give your pal requires four uh pals to combine them in and then it goes 16 and 32 to 64 so it's a sacrifice yeah pretty much you're sacrificing pals to make other pals stronger or 16 64 then 128 I think. come on you cute yeah, little yeah. vulpix fuck we're gonna sacrifice you so we can make my cat bad stronger yep <laughs> wow. well it's it's you you combine them all this all the same so if you have like uh if you have five uh fire crotches mm-hmm. you pick the strongest one and then the others they combine into it oh okay so, so it's so it's more crotch. like it's more like a piccolo co- combination. It's more like yeah. more like a not not a fusion but a, a absorption. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I can I I can get behind that. I guess it's, at least it's not just blind murder. I mean it is, but <laughs> but in a happy way. I mean it's something a certain you know global company doesn't like. So Peta. Peta. Peter. The game released. Peter's like, you know, you don't have to eat meat, and like, you don't. There's, you can make bread. You can have meat berries, yeah. Whatnot. But like, those aren't the best sustaining food. Yeah, like in real life. <laughs> eat meat. Uh, so I didn't know they had a problem with it. Uh, well, yeah, they're going to have a problem with the game because you can kill, although in the game it looks like there's unconscious, but you can kill the pals and eat them. And- yeah. I mean, I, maybe you're just cutting off 
a little bit of meat. You know, it's just a little. A bit. little bit of meat compared, you know, when you kill a lamb ball, it gives you a big old haunch. Yeah. And all their wool. Yeah. By the way, when they die, they're adorable. Oh. Yeah. They just roll. My, my favorite thing. My favorite thing to do is you kill them on the little cliff, and you just push them. They just roll and roll. Oh yeah, that's roll. fun. <laughs> so Grizz and I know we haven't like seen half as much as you have in this game, Shattered mm-hmm. Blade. Um, you have. Would you say you beat it, or is it like there's no ending right now? I don't. I have no idea. There's there's really no ending. Um, like there's the sit to the towers that you can go clear for the bosses but there's no defined story so far okay I'd, I'd say if there's a complaint that might be it the fact that there's no story well I'm um, sure there will there, be one yeah. there, there is or at least there's a lot of lore when you go around finding the explorer notes similar to what Ark did before the actual story which is why Grizz says it's a lot like Ark well mm-hmm. Think about it too, like their um their leveling system. Oh yeah, the is uh, exactly like art. Yeah, all the I, yeah, I see it. exactly. But and... Yes, I I see what I see where you're going with that, and the fact that you can make saddles for your your pals, um, you can ride them for for their weapons. Yeah, that's yeah, that's probably one of the cooler parts. And the fact that if you go into a certain area, you don't even have to prom- uh, provoke certain ones and they will attack you um it's just like arc yeah a lot a lot like arc um that that giant i don't know elephant thing the ma- mammoth yeah the mammoth thing that that they like oh, yeah, the... we would build our base and that bitch would just walk in and chill and then walk out no problems just yeah it's not a very angry mammoth. As long good. as long as you don't attack it. Oh my god! For some, I ran across that thing. I accidentally hit it with a stray arrow. Oops! And my back was to a cliff, and it just charged straight into me. So you went flying. Yeah, that's the way to put it. <laughs> okay. Uh, so if we were to give this game a rating, what would you guys give this? What would we do one to ten? One to ten. A rating of 1 to 10, 1 being worse, 10 being amazing. I'd give I, it an 8. An, yeah, okay. I was, was going to say, I'd give it an 8. If it had a storyline, it would be it would be higher. Uh, I personally have not found any issues with the game with, when it comes to glitches or... Oh, I sure uh, still have. Well, you we haven't tried to break a little it. starter area at least. Yeah. Um, and, we, and we haven't tried to break the game either, so. Yeah, see, I don't try to break any games. It just happens. <laughs> yeah, I'm so I'm sure as we go we'll find some uh I'll I'll yeah. agree, I haven't found plus it hasn't like glitched or froze. There's no there's doesn't yeah. seem like there's any coding errors other than maybe some bugs we haven't found yet. So you guys give it an eight. I'm giving it a seven because I would like there to be more story. Well, that there's there's lore and then there's story. Like we're getting a lot of lore, a lot of read me's. Check this out. Uh, story. But no, like why are we there? What are we doing? It's very Breath of the Wild as far as like, ha ha, you're there. It's very old art. Mm-hmm. Yes. At least Breath of the Wild had a story why you were there. This one is just like, ha ha, you're here. Good luck. Oh, oh, wow, you wound up on an island. Yeah. As long as I don't hear depressing, you know, uh, Morse code and not work. Oh. <laughs> so, yeah, two eights and a seven. It's not... It's it's still, in, it's still in early development, but it's still good to play. It's still fun to play. It's hours and hours of days, months of fun. Um, a lot more than I thought, and there's probably going to be even more coming soon with that game, so... Definitely check that out, guys. It's a good game. Um, first, before we do the closing part of this podcast, there's a number you can call, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to get a hold of us and want to talk to us and tell us what you want, want us to watch, review, taste, look at you funny, I, whatever. <laughs> Grizzly will do anything for money. Well, n- not anything. 20 bucks. Not, 20 bucks is 20 bucks. Well, not anything now. You've got, finally got your PC, so. Yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm good. There. When he didn't have a PC, he'd do anything for money. So, so what's that number, Grizz? If you want to get a hold of us, that number is five five nine. 
959-997-6803. Again, that number is 559-997-6803. Awesome. And once again, guys, we want to remind you to go check out Magic Mind. The link's below. Check it out. Put in our code, NERDIS20. We'll go ahead and end the podcast there, guys. You know, we've talked about our favorite moments or our favorite things. I think we're good. Yep. So that said, ladies and gentlemen, we'll see you next time on the next episode of Nerds is the New Sexy Entertainment, the podcast. Till then, we want you to stay nerdy. Stay sexy. Always.